Joel Embiid signing a four-year extension with the Philadelphia 76ers. It comes at the price of $196 million. Jalen, what does this deal mean for the Sixers moving forward? It's great that they have their MVP candidate under contract the next few years. The most physically dominant big we have in the game. A guy that can take you out to three, can play for mid-range, but what really makes him special is that right there. His ability to be physically dominant in the paint. And health is gonna always be a concern for Joel Embiid. You're not looking for him to play 75 or 80 games a season. So it's important to continue to build out your roster around him. But also the process is still processing because mm. I remember a time when they had Sam Hinkie and they had Brett Brown. They had Joel Embiid and they had Ben Simmons. Oh wait, now they got Daryl Morey, Doc Rivers, Joel Embiid and Ben Simmons. In the last couple of years, what I've seen with my two eyes, Toronto Raptors win the East and win the championship. Miami Heat win the East. I saw the Bucks win the East and win the championship. And then you know what else happened in that conference? The Nets got better. They added KD. They added Hart. They added Kyrie. The Miami Heat retooled this offseason. So I don't think the Philadelphia 76ers are going to win the East this year. But obviously, when you have a franchise-level player like Joel Embiid, you happy that he chose to stay. You happy that he's still under contract. But the elephant in the room is what happens with Ben Simmons. That's going to be the next domino for the Philadelphia 76ers. That is everything for this team, is what are you going to get back for Ben Simmons? Ben Simmons might start the season on this team, but he will not finish this season on this team, I believe. And you know that the rumors are that Dale Moore is just waiting to see what happens with Dame Lillard. And I would say this, if you put Dame Lillard alongside Joel Embiid, you have a much better shot of winning the East than if you have Ben Simmons alongside Joel Embiid. Mr. Rose, why are you so upset? We're not doing that. Just We're go. not doing that. We, we, we ain't about to... Like, let me tell you something. If the Philadelphia 76ers, with their roster and their assets, get on the telephone and try to call the Portland Trailblazers about Dame Lillard, voicemail. And people don't even listen to voicemail these days. You, you're not getting Dame from Portland to go to Philly. There's a chance you may be able to get CJ McCollum. Like Dame's in the same category as Joel Embiid. These are two of the top eight players in the whole league. That, that, I, I don't see that deal remotely taking place. If I, especially if I'm the Portland Trail Blazers. Well, I think it's very important that the 76ers have Joel Embiid on this extension for four more years. However, as you mentioned, with the Nets and what they have, and with the Bucks and what they just did, this is not a top two team in the East. They're going to need to get something back in a Simmons deal. They're going to need to retool, re-up in order to get into the top two of the Eastern Conference, because I don't see it happening with Ben Simmons or anybody not named Dame Lillard.